I just want to show you a short video of my Otari model number MX5050 QB2 uh, really decent condition um, I'm gonna demo this the best way I can I couldn't find a four track recording I did find one from an old stock that I had I'm not sure who did the recording uh, I was told the unit does work we are going to sell it as is though, but it uh, actually does work pretty well um, I just want to show you you're going to receive this uh, Empty take up reel. That's the one that came with it uh, Very nice condition the unit it looks like it has all of its original feet all the meter lights seem to work I'm going to do the best demo I can on this it has uh, black sides on it which look really nice. I think they were original to the unit. Pop, really nice condition. There's the other side. And I like the videos because you can actually see the unit. Um, no chips, no brakes. Very well taken care of, you can see. Um, has this flip up spot here for the heads down below on it. Um, has even a little schematic how your uh, take up. I'm going to show you some of the lights and operating and stuff like that. And then we're going to go down through. There is some sort of music on this. And the patch cables are reversed on the back. Uh, that's common on these. So, and I did check the output. So, you're getting great output on, on everything on the back. Um, we'll try this here. Play. And I'll go, I'm going through the phono here with the preamp on the uh, phono level here. So that's your channel one. Going through, I'm going through a single amplifier up top. And you, has a lot of good output. Same thing on the rear. That's number two. Let me hit stop on this. We rewind it a bit because it actually stops and I just want to show you everything operating that's your rewind and it, it really starts to move pretty fast I'm going to rewind it your counter works great on it uh, There's your channels there. That's your number two, which has a little lower input. Um, that's your three. That's your three, two. And I'm going to leave this alone so you can see. And that's your four. This tape, like I say, I did find it somewhere. This was a recorded tape. Um, I didn't have time to do my own recording. I was told that the unit does work well. So, uh, down the road, you may need to want to replace the pinch roller, but that does work, too. Um, again, I'm going to go down through. That's your three. You can see the output's a little lower. Two's a little less. One's a little higher. Uh, very nice operating, what I can see. Um, that's your forward fast on it. Comes with the tubs. Like I say, you're going to receive this take up reel. Um, let's see. Hit rewind here again on it. Um, anything. Out. Uh, I can hit your record buttons. I'm going to hit stop here. I'm going to hit your record buttons on it. One, two, and three. There's your counter. Um, let me go down through here with your one. There's your one. Record. Two. Three. Four. Um... All pretty much original, very nice condition. Doesn't look like it was used for uh, for a long time. Very, very decent looking unit. Uh, any questions, you can email. I just want to go down through so you can see the condition of it. Very nice condition. All the lights are, are working really nice. Um, 
all these lights are working down through uh, got your edit small um, I did here let me try I'm gonna try the pitch control on it so you can hear that operating so what I'll do is pull that. So if you're looking for the best car for your money, then Toyota's probably a pretty good place to look. Now you can lease a new Toyota Highlander for 159 a month for 36 months. Oh, there. So all that seems to be working. Operable. Everything seems to be working fine on the unit. All your levels. Um, any questions? Please email. Choose a new 2009 Rav4 four-wheel drive. Very nice unit. Thanks for watching my video. The 2199 do it signing.